What is up, everyone? It's Ricky572. We're turning a chance. Today's February 27th, 2024. We're going to hop on and do a quick market watch. So initially, I thought about making the market watch focusing on Battles of Legend Chapter 1, but I think I'm going to save that for later on this week because I feel like some of the prices for the cards are still up in price, and I'm going to let those prices settle for a little bit. I'm not trying to hype it up too much, so I'm going to let it settle down and uh, further down this week and see what the prices hit we'll probably do a market watch wednesday or thursday and check those prices out but i did have some other cards i wanted to talk about and bring to your attention uh first off we're gonna be starting off with albion the sanctifier dragon looks like this card has been going up in price over the weekend and we have been uh noticing that branded has been getting some hype lately and a lot of the other cards have been going up in price uh this card was actually sitting around like 15 ish dollars about a week ago but right now we only have 29 listings on the market and we have our first listing at 1146. I think this seller is offline because I don't think they're selling it for 1146. Yeah, so it's offline. So we hit our first near mint at 2599, then 2773, 2774, 2845. So this card did get a buyout. Uh, I saw it hitting like a high price point of like 40, 45 dollars. But it looks like right now it's under 30 dollars, between like 27 and 30 dollars for a secret rare copy of Albion the Sanctifier Dragon from Cyberstorm Axes. This card is probably not getting a reprint until later on this year in the 10th because it's from because it's from Cyberstorm Axes. So let me know how you guys feel about Albion the Sanctifier Dragon. Are you guys picking it up right now? Or are you guys gonna let the hype cool down and make maybe this card might go back down in price? Next up we have another branded card called Rimbrum the Striking Dragon. I know that they they run this card at one. It's from Fight Photon Hypernova. It's an ultra rare. Uh, this card was sitting around like the eight dollar price point, but it has been going up in price too. Uh, Thirty nine listings on the market, and we have this card at eleven forty eight, eleven forty nine, eleven forty nine, eleven ten. Then hitting like the twelve dollar price point with shipping on the first page. So like between. 10 to 12 dollars for this card uh, let me know how you guys feel about uh rim Brum, the striking dragon do you guys feel it's going to continue to go up in price kind of the same as albion the sanctifier dragon this is an ultra rare so i don't see it hitting that high of a price point but i could actually see it hitting the 20 dollar price point pretty soon just because branded has been doing good in the meta and it is one of the better decks in the format but yeah let me know down below in the comments how you guys feel about it we have Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon. And usually I don't talk about like the higher rated cards, but this one did catch my attention. So that's why I'm mentioning it. We have 14 listings for this card. And it was sitting around like the $230 price point. But right now our cheapest listing is at $200 for a damage copy. Please don't buy that one. Uh, then we have uh, $300, $300, $300. After those $300 copies are gone, $313. Then we have $345 and go heading up to $350. $50 and then hitting the $500 price point on the first page. I doubt it'll hit the $500 price point. I'm pretty sure maybe this card is going to be in the rarity collection uh, and probably get, get like seven different other printings. But let me know how you guys feel about it. Do you guys feel like it's going to be in the rarity collection? Or do you guys think it might miss the rarity collection printing and this card is going to continue to go up in price? I could see it coming back down, but with all the branded hype at the moment, it's up in price at the moment. I just don't really like uh, picking up higher rarity cards because they always tend to come down in price unless they're like like old cards that are for collectors. But for this one, I could see it being in the rarity collection two set. We have Spirit of Ebel uh, from Phantom Nightmare. This is only a super rare. And I actually saw this card going up in price. We have another Ebel card going up in price too, which we'll get to. But these were sitting like at a dollar fifty, a dollar price point. Uh, right now we have them at 42 listings and these are at 147 150 once these are gone we hit two dollars then we hit 250 uh, 147 149 then 250 again so basically like a two dollar card now so you guys maybe opened up some phantom nightmare and uh, I would dig through bulk and try to uh, find these and maybe put them in your binder as trade bait because people are gonna be looking at you bell stuff right now for uh, the upcoming format Sam Sara the Lotus was also another Ubel card I wanted to take a look at. And this is also another super from Phantom Nightmare. I actually saw these last night hitting like the $5 price point, but I couldn't find any in bulk because uh, I didn't open up too much of the Phantom Nightmare set. I think I only opened up like Premier Packs, but this card was sitting around like 50 cents. Right now we have it at 46 listings. We have it hitting a $2.50 
two dollar and fifty cent price point 192 so basically two dollars 294 basically a three dollar card now 295 298 299 so this car this super rare from phantom nightmare is worth basically three dollars right now it is the starter it says you could tribute this card and special summon one you bell monster from your deck so that's pretty good it lets you i guess bypass some of the uh, summoning conditions if I'm not mistaken, let me know down below. I haven't played you bail or gone against it, so I'm not too familiar with it. But I guess it could let you um, uh, bypass some of the restrictions, in my opinion. So it's best summon one you bell monster from the deck. Or it could let you bring out the new uh, spirit of you bell monster. So either way, it lets you uh, bring out a you bell monster. So that's pretty good. But yeah, it's a $3 card now. It was a 50 cent card. So go look through bulk and see if you guys have these uh, somewhere in there. Unchained Soul Lord of Yama was hitting a new high price point this weekend. I saw it as high as like 40, 45 ish dollars. Uh, right now we have it kind of selling back down, but it was like a, a seven dollar card a couple maybe like a month ago. Uh, 50 listings on the market, and we have seen this card go up in price over the past couple weeks. It was hitting like a high price point of like 17 ish dollars. Right now we have it at 21 50, 22 dollars. $23.50, $23, $24, and $24.70. So making its way up to the $25 price point. No big walls on the first page. So I wouldn't be surprised if it, if it starts hitting the $25 price point. And that's because Ubell does incorporate this engine in the strategy. And also I know Labyrinth is able to incorporate this engine in the strategy too. So it's very splashable. Let me know how you guys feel about Unchained Soul Lord of Yama. Uh, do you guys see it continuing to go up in price or are you guys seeing it selling back down? We have number zero Utopic Draco feature and I know we looked at this card a couple of weeks back but it was around like the $10, $11 price point. Looks like it's continuing to go up in price and I think that's because it missed the Bowser Legend uh, chapter one set. It didn't get a reprint in that set and so the only two copies we have available is the Ultra Rare copy from King's Court and the Battle of the Legend copy Seeker Rare from Crystal Revenge. Uh, let's take a look at the King's Court version first. We have this at 33 listings. And it looks like this card is going up to the $15 price point. $15. Once these are gone, we hit $16.79, $17.99, $17, and then $18.69. So trying to make it its way up to the $20 price point. Uh, we have the Seeker Rare from Battles of Legend at 27 listings. Technically, this is the higher rarity since it's a Seeker Rare. Uh, we have this at $13.99. $13.99, $14.99, $15.69, and then $14.99. So basically a $15 card now. I remember picking these back up when they were like three-ish dollars. I did get rid of them around like the $10 price point though because I didn't think they were going to uh, go up that high. And I did fear that they were going to be in the Battle of the Legend Chapter 1 set. So that's why I kind of fire sold them. But it looks like they missed the set and they are continuing to go back up. Now we have these at $15 and then these around like uh, 18 ish 17 ish dollars so yeah let me know how you guys feel about number zero utopic draco future i know that um goblins are one of the archetypes that are able to like bring this out that's what i've heard they're able to like cheat this out or so somehow i haven't gone against them recently but that's what i've been hearing uh so let me know down in the comments below how you guys feel about this card and if you guys think it's going to continue to go up or come back down. Super Heavy Samurai Protégé Wakashi has been going up in price. This is a super rare from uh, Cyberstorm Axis. I know we took a look at it back when it was heading up to like the 2 $3 price point. But right now we only have 56 listings on the market. We have it at 364 365 375 394 $399, $4, and $4.35. So it's safe to say this card is basically at the $4 price point. I haven't seen too many super heavy samurai builds top events i think i only saw like one in top eight if i do find that build i'll post it up on here so you guys can take a look at it but ever since the ban list they did get hit and lost their uh link one monster they haven't done too much in the format but maybe people are uh finding ways to use the super heavy samurai engine to do like combo plays or something Maybe that I'm not aware of. Let me know down below if you guys have any idea why Super Heavy Samurai Protégé Wakashi is going up in price. And um, yeah, if, like I said, if I find that build, I'll post it up on here. It looks like Raid Raptor hype is still going on. We have Rank Up Magic. So Shade 4 is going up in price. This is a super rare from Wing Raiders. 
and it was sitting around like the two fifty two dollars and fifty cent dollar price point. We but we have it getting a buyout and going up in price. Only six listings on the market. We have our first lightly plate listing at nine dollars. Then we hit twelve dollars for our near mint. Thirteen dollars, twelve oh one. After that, we hit eighteen dollars right here, and then twenty dollars on the first page. Let me know how you guys feel about uh, Rank Up Magic. So Shade Fours, I'm pretty sure it just hype, Raid Raptor hype, pushing it up. I'm pretty sure it's gonna come back down later on. It says pay half your life points and target one Raid Raptor, XC monster in graveyard. Special summon it, then special summon from your extra deck one monster that has two ranks higher than that monster by using it as the exceed material. So yeah, I haven't seen too many Raid Raptors uh, top events, but maybe that could change. Um, I don't think they're going to be that good, but let me know down below how you guys feel about it. Do you guys think Raid Raptors have a chance uh, at chance of being like a meta contender this upcoming format or just being a good deck in general this upcoming format? Let me know down below. Raid Raptor Rising Rebellion Falcon is another Raid Raptor card that has been going up in price. This is a new uh, ultra rare from the Phantom Nightmare set. And it looks like this card was sitting around like the under two dollar price point and right now we only have 13 listings on the market we have our first listing at let's see is the seller online for this it looks like the seller is online for this but that one was like three ish dollars then we have a three dollar copy right here after that they hit five dollars five dollars uh then we hit like six dollars with shipping that's seven dollars with shipping then we go up to 7.99 and then hitting the eight dollar price point on their first page we do have sales around like the six dollar price point six dollars six dollars six dollars six dollars and then five dollars so they are selling above like the five dollar six dollar price point let me know how you guys feel about raid raptor rising rebellion falcon do you guys think it's just high pushing it up at the moment and that's why it's up in price or do you guys think that this car could continue to go up in price higher and it isn't going to come back down. I think it's going to come back down to like the 3 to $4 price point. But let me know down below how you guys feel. Cash Chair Rice Heart looks like it's still holding on to its high price point. This car used to be sitting at a low price point of like 3 to $4. But it has been going up in price over the past couple months. And mainly because it doesn't have a reprint. And it's probably not going to get a reprint until like this year's 10th. Since it's from Photon Hypernova. Uh, I expected to get like a reprint in like September, which is usually when we get our tents. We have 20 says list listings on the market for this card. We have $21.98 being the first listing, then $22, $21, $21, then going up to $23.50, $23.50, and $24 on the first page. I can see this card continuing to go up in price just because Cash Chair is one of the better decks that you could play this format. We are in a tier zero format i'm not sure how many of you guys saw ycs vegas this weekend but there was a high representation of snake guy uh fire kings in the meta so it's safe to say we are in a tier zero format and cashier is one of the decks one of the better decks that you could play that command shifter and are still able to perform even with fire kings snake guy being one of the better decks of the format this deck is one of the other decks that you could play and possibly do go to win. So yeah, let me know how you guys feel down below about Cash Chair Rice Heart. Do you guys see it continue to go up or is it going to come back down in price? And last card on today's market watch is going to be Lullaby of Obedience. So this is a card I saw being cited to go against the mirror match since a lot of people are using Snake Eye Fire Kings. Uh, and using the Snake Eye engine, they, they could basically use this card to bring out like Populous or Snake Eye Ash and get their... Uh, play started so we have the seeker rare from legendary collection kaiba at 60 listing this card used to be sitting around like three to five dollars right now we have it at 1049 1150 1195 1199 12 dollars 1248 1248 and 1249 so trying to make his way up to the 13 dollar price point it says pay 2000 life points to declare one monster card name your opponent looks at their deck and reveals one of the declared monsters if there is any and applies one of these effects add it to the hand of the player who activated this card the player who activated this card special summons it to their field and attack position ignoring its summoning condition so in the mirror match that could really come up and uh, be a good card uh, we have the ultra rare at 27 listing this is from duelist pack rivals of the pharaoh and let's see what it's at right now it used to be sitting around like two to three dollars but right now we have our cheapest listing at $10.99, uh, $12, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13
$13.49 and $13 on the first page. So yeah, basically doubled in price too. Let me know how you guys feel about Lullaby of Obedience. I feel like it's going to stick around like the $10 price point, maybe even higher than that for a while. Since we are going to be stuck in the tier zero Snake Guy Fire King format uh, for a couple months until we get like Legacy of Destruction. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today's Market Watch. Let me know how you guys feel about uh, the market. If you guys have any opinions or cards you guys want me to look at, let me know down below. Uh, let, make sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and X at Return Trans. Also, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Ricky572, and we'll see you guys next time.